for those professionals that want to show all grades and variations associated with disc herniation, this group A model encompasses three individual models. The first one is our naturally bulging model, which can show bulging under manual compression. The second model in this group is our professional LXH model. And with the nerves removed, you can show how a protrusion can present itself under manual compression and slight flexion. This can also be visualized in the spinal canal in the lateral recess. Further compression will demonstrate extrusion. Also, demonstrating how dynamic extension can narrow the AP canal in helping patients and practitioners to understand which movements may be beneficial in the case of disc herniation. Further features include anatomical details like uh, annular fissure, innervation on the outer third of the annulus, a dynamic nucleus, end plate, end plate pores, end plate fracture, neo innervation, and a multitude of other anatomical features deep within the disc. In discussions of pain, which are generated from discogenic aspects. A third model is a central protruding nucleus, which shows central occlusion of the spinal canal under dynamic load. To remove the cauda equina to show the spinal canal, simply pull the nerves up through the model. To return the nerves to the model, simply push in a cephalad direction up through the spinal canal while pulling the nerve roots into position. A small tool can be used to help fish out the nerve roots into the respective IVFs.